New York and limelight were great. The limelight was an important part of the culture in New York. Disco, punk, hip hop, techno, acid house, all of these are genres of music that began in nightclubs. Madonna was there. Even the BC Boys got their start there. Some of the music I make is definitely the product of spending way too much time in the limelight. It was pagan Rome on acid. It's Caligula with music. Nobody saw the downside of living on the edge. This was a global youth culture movement. They became the new stars of Clubland. A single cool, watchful eye looks over it all. It is the eye of Peter Gation, the Lord of Late Night. Limelight was very important to Peter because it was his cash cow. It was a gold mine. He was pulling in 50,000 customers on a weekend. There was a magical quality associated to everything he did. These little parties just kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Did we own the city's nightlife? We owned it. DEA started to get involved in ecstasy investigations. Crime was really out of control. Giuliani decided to make a change. That's when the crackdown started. 100, 200 feds. The motto was, get Gation at all costs. I never saw that type of scorched earth mentality. Bringing him down could serve as a lesson to other club owners to behave. What better person to choose to make an example of than the one who's on the top? This is the stuff that's going to take you there. And they're zombies, basically. We were really obnoxious. You were the star, or you were the entertainment. An open air drug market. It was like the ecstasy bandits. It could have been a movie. Everybody was high. They positively identified the body. They turned out in massive numbers, thousands of people. The gathering happened. It wasn't part of the real world. There were very few rules. It was degeneracy without consequences. Everybody was having a good time.